Welcome to all of you who are joining us for this worship as we prepare to observe a holy Lent. If you did not receive your Lenten bag, you are invited to pick one up in the office. Those of you who are here in person may pick up one as you leave if you have not already received one. Those who did get your Lenten bag, please get your small cup of ashes and add just a drop of olive oil or cooking oil to it. Keep it at hand until Tammy leads us in the imposition of the ashes. For those of you here in person, we will impose the ashes as you leave. As part of, of a, observing a holy Lent, you are invited to join us in the Bible study based on the book in your Lenten bag, Renegade Gospel, The Rebel Jesus. The study will focus on scripture and conversations on how we walk closer to Jesus. The study will be offered on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. and Wednesday evenings at 6.30 p.m. And now let us remember from dust we came, unto dust we shall return. Please join me in our call to worship. In the Christian journey, our history can be reduced to highlights. Then we often skip to Jesus. Then God formed Adam from dirt, breathing life into his nostrils. Plants, animals, rivers, and then God placed us there. God said to Adam and Eve, from dust you came, and to dust you shall return. To retrace our collective footsteps. For only in knowing our history can we discern our future. Let us pray. God who knows our past, present, and future, as we consider our ancient story, we prepare to confront our frailties and failings in the same way you did at our making. Breathe your breath into our lives. Remind us that while the gate of Eden is closed, the path to your grace and forgiveness remains open forever. Amen. Now time for our children's message with Miss with Lori. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. So I have to ask you a question. Where did you come from? Maybe you're thinking, I just walked in from the living room. I just came from the kitchen. Maybe the people here are like, I just came from my car or my house. Maybe you think about where you were born, like I was born in Virginia, so I could say I'm from Virginia. Or maybe you think about your family, like I'm from the Michalochik family, so that could be where I come from. But there's someone that we all come from. Do you know who that is? Come on, congregation, I know you know who this is. That's right, it's God. We all come from God. And today is Ash Wednesday where we remember this. In a little bit, we're going to get some ashes that you guys will get to put on your foreheads at home or on your hands. And we'll say, from dust you came and from dust you shall return. And those ashes are like the dust. And they're reminding us that we all came from God. And that one day we're going to return to him as well. And we do this in the shape of a cross to remind us that through, that through God's love, he sent us Jesus. So in a little bit, when you guys get your ashes, I want you to remember that from God you came and, from, and to God you will return all through Jesus. Will you guys go ahead and turn to God in prayer with me now? Dear God, Dear God. thank you so much. For your, son, Jesus, for your son, Jesus, and for helping us, and for helping us to, remember to remember all that you do, all that you do for, each for each of us. Help us, Help us to, always to always know that we came from you, that, we came from you, that, you, love us, that you love us, and through Jesus, and through Jesus we will return to you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Today's scripture comes from Genesis 2, 5 through 8. The day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise from the earth and water the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being, and the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. The word of God for the people of God. Will you pray with me? Holy God, as we enter this time of Lent, we pray that you would walk ever close to us. We pray that you would forgive our sinfulness and that you would surround us and fill us with your grace. Remind us of where we come from and show us, O oh God, where we are going. We ask this in the holy name. Amen. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God called the dry land earth and the waters. They were gathered together. God called them the seas. And God saw that it was good. The Lord God formed humanity from the dust of the ground and breathed into us the breath of life and humanity came alive. The dust became living human beings. From dust we came and to dust we shall return. Reverend Jan Richardson, a United Methodist pastor in Florida and author of a painted prayer book, reminds us how strange our Ash Wednesday liturgy is. We take ashes from the palms of last year's Palm Sunday. I burned ours early this morning. Ours are from the palms of 2019 that I just happened to say, thanks be to God. We take those palm ashes and we mark the sign of Jesus on each other's foreheads, the sign of the cross. The ashes are to remind us where we come from. We come from the dust of the earth, humus, soil, dirt, the stuff we walk upon, the stuff we sweep away, the stuff we scrub off our bodies and gouache our hands, the stuff we shout out out of our clothes. If you read Genesis 3, we are told that after Adam and Eve sin, God bans them from the Garden of Eden with these words, cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. By the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. So dirt becomes associated with our sinfulness. Do you remember when the adulterous woman is brought before Jesus and criticized and condemned for her sin and they wait for Jesus to pronounce that they should stone her? Do you remember what Jesus did instead? He knelt down and he began to write in the dirt. Now, no one's really sure what he wrote, but some say that he wrote the sins of every person there. They stood and condemned somebody else's sins, but Jesus spelled their sin out in the dirt. Tonight, ashes, dust, dirt. 
It's marked upon our brow to remind us and everyone else that we see who we are, where we come from, and who brought us here today. From dust you come, to dust you shall return. Ashes from Palm Sunday, reminding us of our humanity. We who are so bold to cheer on our Messiah, my, Messiah by saying, Hosanna in the highest, and then just a few days turn around and shout, crucify him. And then we stand by and watch him be stripped and whipped and spit upon and left to die. Oh, what a terrible web we sinners weave. What dirt we kick up into each other's face. How we fail our God over and over and over again. Not to mention the way we fail each other. After all, we are human, made from the dust of the earth, mortal. From dust we come, to dust we shall return. But this is not the end of the story. For the ashes are put on our forehead in the sign of the cross, the sign of Jesus, the sign of God's amazing grace and God's love affair with us humans. Imagine the joy, the pride, the hope that God had when God looked at what God had made and said it was good. Just like a child who's made a picture and presents it to you and waits for your adoration. Imagine the hope and the loveliest of intentions that God had for us humans when God chose to make us out of the soil of God's very own creation, of God's very own garden. And if that wasn't enough to honor us, God chose to breathe into us the breath of life, God's very own spirit, to place an exclamation point on the goodness of God's creation and of God's deep abiding love for us, God chose to have the glory of heaven leave it to become human. The word made flesh, humus, soil, dirt, to live in the dust of the earth among us. The ashes remind us of our mortality, our sinfulness, our failure to live as God's people. But the ashes made in the sign of the cross claims us as God's very own. We are filled with spirit, with the very breath of God. And our bodies might return to the earth, but our spirits, oh, our souls return to God, our creator. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. During this season of Lent, may we remember where we come from. The dust of the earth, humus, soil, God's beloved creation that God declared good. Remember that we are filled with God's own spirit so that we might be God's image here on earth. That God has so much hope in us. So many dreams and possibilities for us to fulfill. And even though we fall short of the glory of God day in and day out and do not deserve God's grace, God has yet to give up on us. I hope there will be some time soon, after the rain and after things begin to dry up, I hope there's some time soon that you will be able to run your fingers through the dirt and remember where you come from. Remember who created you and who gives you life. Remember where you are going and ultimately remember, remember where God is leading you. We do not journey alone. 
but with each other. May we not forget that each of us comes from dust. We are frail human beings and we fall short of each other and of the glory of God. But God is hopeful and has not given up on us. So we are marked with the cross, with ashes, with our baptismal waters, and with a love that will not let us go. God can do incredible things out of dust. Thanks be to God. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it is the custom of the church that before the Easter celebration, there should be a 40-day season of spiritual preparation. A time of drawing closer to Jesus, listening to his words, following him so closely that the dust from his footsteps fall upon our feet. During this season, there is a Bible study on Wednesdays. There is a prayer calendar for you to pray every day. There is a prayer for us to pray together every day. I invite you to observe a holy Lent, to examine your life, to repent of your sins and your failures and shortcomings, and to walk closer with Jesus through prayer and fasting, through the repenting of sins, through worship, by reading the scriptures and studying God's word, by partaking in the sacraments of Holy Communion whenever possible. So I ask you in these few moments as Keith plays, will you repent of your sins? In this Lent, will you seek a closer walk with the Lord? so close to Christ that the dust from his footsteps land upon you. Will you observe a holy lint? with me. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. From dust we came and to dust we shall return. Grant that these ashes made from the palms we waved as we shouted Hosanna and then turned our backs and cried crucify him. Grant that they may help us to remember that even though we've turned away from you, your love has remained steadfast with grace upon grace. Bless these ashes. Bless the foreheads that bear your cross. And bless our Lenten journey with you. Amen. For those of you at home, you are invited to mark your foreheads with the sign of the cross and to say these words, from dust you came. To dust you shall return. If you are here in person, we will impose the ashes safely outside as you leave. May we all find ourselves 40 days later much closer to Christ than we are today. Amen.
Will you pray with me the prayer that you'll find on the screen? This is our Lenten prayer that I ask you to pray with us daily. Let us pray. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love. Amen. Let us pray together as our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In a few moments, I'm going to give you the blessing. But just so you know, the leaders, those who will be imposing the ashes, we will exit out this door. And if you as the congregation would exit out the back door and we will impose the ashes outside and we will do it um, safely and with, so you have no concerns of your own health. Receive this blessing. God has made you from God's beloved creation. You are from dust and to dust you shall return. But you are also marked with the sign of the cross with God's amazing grace. Go and observe a holy, holy Lent and to walk ever closer to with your Lord and your Savior, Jesus Christ. Go in the name of God, our Creator, Christ, our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our Sustainer. Amen.